Welcome everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a kind of 3D effect with a logo in Photoshop. So let's get started. So here, um, on this Photoshop logo, I don't think it would look good if I create a 3D effect on the whole logo. So I'm going to just choose uh, the letters. So for that, I'm uh, I'm choosing Magic Wand tool. Click here, hold the Shift key, and click. So now Control and J to duplicate the layer. And now we don't need the actual the full logo here. So I'm gonna drag to the bin, and it has deleted the logo. Now we have this logo which is the only letter okay. so we can actually increase the size a little bit okay and enter so here we have this logo so first of all what we're going to do is um, double click on the layer and go to bevel and m boss and uh, on the style we choose inner bevel and for technique we choose chisel hard and for depth uh, we'll choose a higher number okay around 800 and angle is okay 127 is okay i don't need to do anything here and um Capacity would be around 80. Okay, that's all, and click OK. Now Control and J again to create a duplicate layer, and Control T for transform. And after we press the transform thing, we will press uh, one pixel right and one pixel down with the right key and down key on your keyboard now press enter now we're gonna press Control shift alt and t hold the Control shift and alt and keep pressing t this creates a kind of 3d effect i think this part is okay or maybe just Control Z. This much is okay. So now what we're gonna do is scroll down, hold the shift key and click on the very bottom layer of the text or logo, not the background, okay? Hold the shift key and click and then now go to layer, go to arrange and choose reverse. So it, ha it has reversed the 3D, the direction of the 3D effect. Go all the way up, hold the control key and click on the very top layer and go to layer and then mm, I'm not finding the, uh, yeah, merge layers. You can also press Control and E. So the 3D effect, the 3D thing, the extrusion thing is on one layer. Okay. So now on the top layer, double click, and we're gonna get rid of the bevel and emboss. We don't need that. Okay. Click OK. So now go to the 3D extrusion layer, and Hold the control key and click on the thumbnail of the layer. Now we'll go to filter, blur, and Gaussian blur. Uh, we will put it around five. It depends on the size of your logo. So I think here, in my case, it uh, would be around five.
click OK. Control D to deselect. And I think this looks great. Now what we can do is go to this background layer and choose color from here. Blue color and press Alt and Backspace to fill the background. And again, we will click this plus button, which is add layer. And now again, choose color from here. And we will choose a brighter color, br brighter version of blue. We'll go to this gradient tool. And you have to need to have this option, okay? Where you can see it transparent, okay? So if there's no transparent here, you can go, you can just uh, click here and then click here. Uh, yeah, click on the upper part here, click, and then opacity should be zero. Now click and drag like this diagonally okay so this create creates a kind of effect that there's light coming from the left side this makes the logo look more like 3d okay so now we're going to go to the top layer double click and we'll go to stroke we'll add stroke color would be white click ok and then we go to inner shadow and black would be ok black and blend mode should be normal or you can also choose multiply and distance for distance you can just adjust according to your preferences for me it's six six is okay and the size would be around 16 or 13 13 is okay and then choke around 30. now we'll go to drop shadow uh no we don't have a Go to drop shadow right now uh, we will go to gradient overlay and click here and then on the left side we'll choose a brighter version of blue on the right side we'll choose a darker version of blue click ok and click ok and so the angle would be around minus 45. Okay. So, yeah. Minus 49 or 45. 45 is the exact number, but you can be anywhere like near the number. Okay. Click OK. Then we'll go to the layer beneath. The extrusion layer the 3d layer double click and we'll go to drop shadow okay we'll just adjust the distance here and spread and size minimum size is okay size seven size seven pixel looks great we can also go to the second drop shadow and uh, we can add a kind of glow. Um, by default, you'll have this multiply and you'll have this black color. So instead of that, we can go to blend mode and choose linear dodge add and choose a brighter color. A little brighter that would look okay let's see if 
there's anything. This also looks great, but I think we'll go for this one. And click OK. And I think that's OK. Click OK and you can see we have created kind of 3D effect with this logo. And yeah. If you need like more, um, you need to do something a little more. You can you can just go to the three D layer and then go to drop shadow, and you can bring the opacity to around sixty. Okay. So that looks better, I think. So this is how you can create a kind of 3D effect with logo in Photoshop. So I hope you like this video. If you like the video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment below, and do not forget to subscribe to this channel.